Okay, so this is an easy one and it should go pretty quickly. So we are in the level complete uh, scene and what we haven't done yet, we've got our button working, but what we haven't done yet is um, the level complete text and the feedback text uh, aren't being loaded with what we want to load them with. So we're going to make a script to load those texts and it's pretty cool. So under project, you're going to create C sharp script, and um, we're going to call it level complete script. And uh, so then we're going to open it, and I have it on my clipboard. I'm going to talk you through it. I figured this script out using um, uh, using the Unity manual. Uh, it's pretty, pretty extremely helpful. So we've got the unity.ui, um, and uh, that's the only extra one we've added. Okay, so, oh, it's supposed to be called level complete score. Mm, well, let's just change that to level complete script. So always check my instructions. Sometimes I forget things I did before. So I've called it level complete script. I'm changing it to level complete script. Okay, those always have to match. So um, the first thing we do is we create a public text, which is the level complete text, and we're going to drop our, our level complete text into that box. Um, private static int score. Um, this is going to pull the, um, from our pickup script, we have the coin counter, which is the score in the pickup script. And so what um, this um, is going to do is it's going to pull, we're creating a new variable called score, so we're not calling it the same name as in the other script, but we're going to pull it from the other script uh, down lower. Uh, and then we're also making our public text feedback, which is where we're going to drop our feedback text that we made before. Uh, void start, we don't need to do anything. But in the update, this is where we pull score equals pickup script, that's the name of the script, so that has to be spelled exactly the way you spelled your pickup script, and then dot coin counter is where we say which variable. Ah, so that's how you can pull variables from another uh, scene and another script and pull it into your script. Ah, beautiful. Um, so we've got that. Um, so that's where we're pulling that number. So that'll pull the score that they had in their last level. Now, uh, level complete text dot text, we are going to set to um, level complete your score was, and I've put a space in there, um, plus score. And score is going to be the score from the uh, pickup script coin counter. So you could write whatever you want there. Um, and that's going to print. So that's what the level complete text is going to be. Now, I've made this if else if scenario for specific feedback based on score. So if the score was equal to nine, now for this, I counted um, based on what the based on the platform that I made and the objects I had to collect a perfect score if you got every single avocado was nine. So I went back and I counted that. And then I put if score equals nine, uh, feedback.txt, so that is calling back up to this feedback.txt, feedback.txt equals you made a perfect score. Now you could write anything you want in there. You're amazing, um, whatever you want to say. And um, else if, and you know, you got your whole bracket semicolon situation here, else if score is less than or equal to eight, and score is greater than or equal to six, so basically between six and eight, uh, feedback.txt equals you did pretty well. And again, you could put whatever you want there. Um, else if blah, 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 you get the pattern here. So um, uh, you can, you can uh, make whatever feedback you want, but that's how you can give specific feedback based on the score that the person got. Super easy, really a simplistic code. This reminds me of my old days learning just basic 
back in the day in Moscow. And that's that. So I'm going to command S. And now in our, in this level on the canvas, we need to drop our level complete script onto the canvas. And then level complete text, we need to grab our level complete text. And feedback, we need to drag to feedback. Okay, I'm gonna command S. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into level one and I'm gonna play. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna try to play well. Oh, I missed that avocado pizza, I got that. Okay, I got a score of five. Oops, ah, there's a mistake here. This is great, because it means we can fix it. Um, so level complete, your score was five. That part worked, but clearly our text has gotten clipped here. And we'll just make sure play level two works. It does. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to avoid the negative points here. Uh, and I just want to see what happens. Okay, level complete, your score was minus two. Um, and again, we're clipped. So everything's working except this feedback text in, um, level complete, canvas, feedback. Look at me, I forgot to do the overflow button. Okay, overflow, overflow. All right, let's go back to level one and play one more time. Oh, save, thank you, I love reminders. Play. Okay, my score is bad. There we go. So level complete, your score was work, you're navigating, your score was one, you're navigating needs some work. And then you got to play level two. So extension, uh, make it beautiful. Um, put in which all the other levels they could play, do all kinds of other wonderful things. But basically, you got your core now for making an endless runner game with levels.